Greetings everyone, Rooney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for <clears throat> Monday, June the 20th, and this is the Ponzi Bison Active Frame for all platforms. This is by HR Frost und Frozenbrau, 18.77 megabytes and 25 slots on console. <clears throat> it is a forwarder is uh, from what I... Uh, from what I understand, and it is very similar to something we just got recently, but it is not exactly the same. There are some differences, so that is why it was allowed, I suppose, as the uh, the new way they're doing things now. So, where do we find it? We're going to find it in Forestry Machines, and there it is, the Bison Active Frame. Um, it looks very similar to the base game one that we do have but um, I guess it has a couple of options that it doesn't have so we'll go through those options we got Nokian tires and Trailborg and the Olafars um, Nokian no choice uh, Trailborg we have twin, twin forestry and we have a few uh, as you can see a few tread designs that will cost you zero dollars. Now, if we go, whoop, we go into the Olafers, we have the ProGrip F, uh, the EcoTrack, and uh, various choices between those, as you can see here. Uh, and they'll all cost eight grand. Uh, window tinting, we have the yellow and uh, no, and so on and so forth. Hood protection. Again, there we go. <clears throat> Lower protection down there. Yes or no. Exhaust protection, like so. Window protection that's at the back, as you can see. Yes or no. And timber blade. That is the blade on the front. You can put that on there for a fifteen hundred bucks. Design that would be that front. Um, protection grid I guess are great yes or no and here's the interesting part now you have the standard Bison AF engine at 285 horsepower with a variable rate transmission now that is a, a special note on the description saying the variable rate transmission will let you go to 0 to 20 kilometers an hour or 12 miles per hour without changing gears um, so engine setup <clears throat> Uh, you notice that there's 170 liters of fuel associated with this engine. If we switch to the Bison AF Stage 1, it bumps it up to 425 horsepower, but the fuel amount disappears. Now, um, so uh, no fuel showing, right? Um, let's just move on for, mo for the moment. And uh, if we go to main color, uh, any one of these colors can be your main color. And that will change the cab color only, as you can see. Claw color, of course, um, we'll make that orange, as you can see. Orange. Uh, the bands and chain color. Now, that's going to be somewhat interesting. Uh, oh, we have a white already. Let's make it lime green. There we go. Uh, rim color, we can make that, uh, say, a metallic pink. Or I wonder if we change it actual to pink. Yes. So there are some metallic type colors in here as well, like that. And that's it for your choices. We're going to buy this one because... If we hop in this one, you can see there's no fuel gauge. However, I was able to put fuel in it. And if we look at it now, it shows 170 liters of diesel, which is interesting because if we look at this one, this one has no 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 indication that there is anything in it, nor, nor is there a fuel gauge. However, we can start the engine and drive it around and use it. which is very odd to me. However, when you go over to the fuel pump,
there's a fuel fill up station uh, the refuel come pops up and I was able to put uh, 170 liters of fuel into it so I'm not sure what exactly is going on here as you can see I have rapidly approached and maintain that 12 mile that blistering 12 miles per hour speed now all right so let's go through the um the options and there is um well let's do the lights first l r r1 and your o button lights up all the lights like so uh, up on the d-pad no uh whoop, no no uh, beacons um, also, there's no signals uh, for this, as it is a forestry machine. Right. Okay, so, uh, L1. You have your right stick, which pretty much does everything. Uh, up and down, kind of puts that out, like so, and it will extend. So, extend out quite far actually there we go that's fully extended and it will swing around per well I'm gonna say not 360 but it's probably more, more like 300 degrees or maybe 320 ish yeah not a full circle obviously but so that is L1 in control group crane one now that's going to be significant in a moment because your r1 lifts raises and lowers that so you have this one this one and raising and lowering right it's like okay well what about opening and closing the uh the the uh the claw well you have l1 and r1 you can swivel it oh there we go up and down right stick it doesn't show the right stick up and down though see that's confusing we have we have um, left oh um, yes R1 so we got the fasten the belts which don't show up yet we're gonna look at that um, yeah, this, the, the, the controls on this, even, <clears throat> so, I get confused with, uh, <clears throat> forestry machines like this to start with, but now, now we have several different forestry machines like this, and they all have different controls. The controls are not standardized, and now this one, we have, uh, L1 and R1 right stick up and down, but we don't have... We, there isn't anywhere that says that's how you do it unless you go to control group crane 2 now you press L, L1 and R1 and your right stick shows that's what you can do so you can do it in there let's go back but it won't show it here although you can still do it go figure alright so so you can pretty much do uh, everything you need to do um, <clears throat> within that control group crane just by pressing your L1 and R1 and L1 and R1 together <clears throat> now if we go to control group crane extras to L1 right stick opens and closes that door maybe that's what screwed it all up the opening the door that's because that's very important to be able to open that door and close it not um right stick or right r1 with right stick you can raise and lower and then r left and right on the right stick moves that that back and forth and if you go L1 and R1 and right stick, you can extend that back and forth and open and close your grapple. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, um, so I have attempted to uh, pick this up here and we are going to... Uh, 
uh, go into no, we want a control group one we got spinorami oh there we go now we can open it but we want to lift it lift it and swing it around uh, lift it lift it up again we want to spin it there we go eventually I'm gonna get good at this uh, sooner or later but when they keep changing the controls uh, sneak that up in there uh, let's turn some lights on because it uh, for some unknown reason at 8 o'clock in the morning it's dark uh, get it down 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 there we go whoop not too far down all right, now let's open this. No, wrong way. Up on the joystick. Yes, up on the right stick. Lifting up, lifting. Come on, lift up. There we go. And so now, fasten tension belts. R1 and R3. I don't see them. Uh, supposedly they're there, though. No, they're not there. There we go. What? So why does it not... Oh, dear. I mean, did it have to be down there for the tension belts to connect? It appears that way. Right. So, well, let's go sell our piece of wood, then. Oh, you want to know the front uh, blade, don't you? Well, that's under con control group extra two... Uh, R1 and uh, not that one, not that one. L1 and R1. No, no. Ah, oh, there we go. R1 and L1 under control group crane. One left stick, left and right. Right, and it can go pretty far down. Well, let's uh, sell the wood and we'll go push some logs around. There we go. That's out of the way. Now, let's try out this uh, blade, shall we? Uh, okay. That's a good first start. It has a collision. There we go. Seems to add, work adequately as a blade, as you can see. Right, and then uh, just L1 and R1 left stick, left and right will raise and lower that. Right, and um, yeah, so the fuelless one, uh, I'd be curious to see how long it would run. Because it is obviously running and it has an engine, but there's no fuel in it. And if we go inside, oh, the views, yes, we can view. This is the first view. Oh, and there's also change driving direction, L1 and R1 and X. So you can, yes, you can drive it. So this is view number two, which is actually a rear view that you cannot adjust. And this is also another view, a rear view, upper rear view that it, you cannot look around. It is static. This is your normal view that you can look around. Now we're pointing the other way, so we can drive the other way. And of course, uh, oh, let's go to control crane. Crane, there we go. We can we can move the crane looking this way as well and driving this way. And also back to here, where we can look, we can look around in this view, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't see a fuel gauge in here either. We're going to swing back around. And this is basically just transport position, more or less, um, from the operator's standpoint. And that's the rear, oh, the rear view, which is different than, 
Oh, is that because it follows? Oh, yes. When you're looking at the rear view, it follows the crane. Well, that's kind of neat. Right. Okay. Not that it uh, view is all that great, but I suppose if you're working out the side, <clears throat> I, I I I would imagine that is the view that you would have when if you're actually operating this vehicle. All right. And back to, oh yes, so this, ah yes, this view follows the crane as well from the outside. Top of the outside looking backwards. And then, of course, just your regular view. Right, so enough, um, enough sputtering and spattering along here. That is your Ponzi Bison Active Frame by HR Frost und Frozen Brau, 18.77 megabytes download. 25 slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.